Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into something we all do, running errands. But instead of just ticking off a to-do list, what if you had a friend along for the ride? Meet Ethan, a project manager who's all about efficiency, and Mason, a freelance writer who finds the fun in the little things. They're going to share how they turned a routine day of errands into a surprisingly enjoyable experience. So, do you ever run errands with someone? Share your stories in the comments, and let's get started. Hey Mason, remember last weekend, when we ran all those errands together? I gotta say, it made the whole process a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, it was surprisingly fun. I usually don't think much of grocery shopping, or picking up dry cleaning, but doing it together made it feel less like a chore, and more like a mini-adventure. Absolutely. So, how do you usually handle your errands? When you're on your own? Do you just knock them all out in one go? I try to, but it can get a bit boring when it's just me. I usually make a list, plan out the route to hit all the spots in one go, but having someone with me definitely makes it more interesting. Like, when we decided to grab a coffee. Before heading to the post office, that's not something I typically do on my own. Yeah, that coffee break was a good idea. I think it's those little things that make a difference. Did you notice how we split up the tasks at the grocery store? Oh, for sure. I was handling the produce, and you were off grabbing the dairy. It made everything go so much faster. Plus, we had a good laugh over that ridiculously oversized watermelon. I never noticed how much fun you can have just picking out groceries. Right? And you know, we even ended up getting a few things that weren't on the list, like that new snack you found. Have you tried it yet? Yep, I tried it the next day. Pretty good, actually. It's funny how just wandering the aisles together, we ended up discovering something new. That's the kind of thing that doesn't usually happen when I'm just trying to get in and out of the store as fast as possible. Totally. It's like when we bumped into that old neighbor of yours at the dry cleaners. If I'd been alone, I probably wouldn't have stopped to chat, but it turned into a nice little catch-up session. Yeah, I hadn't seen her in years. It was nice to have that quick conversation, even if it was just for a few minutes. It's those unexpected moments that make running errands together worthwhile. And honestly, it reminded me how much I appreciate living in a place where I can run into familiar faces. Exactly. It's like, you get the practical stuff done, but you also get these little bonuses, like catching up with people or finding something new. How about when we had to decide between two different brands of cereal? That was a whole debate. Yeah, and I think we ended up with a third option that neither of us had tried before. It's those little decisions that make the whole experience more interactive. I guess you don't really notice how many small choices you make during errands until you have someone else's input. For sure. And let's not forget the post office, how we managed to get through that line without getting too impatient by just chatting about our weekend plans. That definitely helped. I usually hate standing in line, but we were so caught up in conversation. That time just flew by. It's amazing how a simple chat can turn something tedious into something enjoyable. And speaking of plans, I'm glad we decided to grab lunch afterward. It was like a reward for getting everything done. Do you usually do something like that after finishing your errands? Not usually, but maybe I should start. It felt good to relax and enjoy a meal after running around. It's a nice way to wrap up the day and wind down after being productive. 
Plus, it gives you something to look forward to while you're doing the errands. I never realized how much of a difference it could make until we did it together. I agree. So, what do you think? Should we make running errands together a regular thing? Definitely. It turns out it's a great way to catch up and make the mundane a bit more fun. Plus, I think we've proven that two heads are better than one when it comes to getting things done. It's funny how something that seems like a chore can turn into a good time with the right company. Maybe we can even switch up the routine each time to keep it interesting. Couldn't agree more. Next time, we should hit up that new farmer's market downtown. I've heard they've got some great stuff. That sounds like a plan. I'm always up for checking out new spots, especially when there's good food involved. Farmer's markets are the best, you never know. What unique finds you might come across. We can make a morning of it, grab some fresh produce, and maybe even try out one of those food trucks they have there. It'll be a nice change from the usual grocery store run. Awesome. Let's do it. And hey, maybe we'll even turn it into a little tradition, grab coffee, run errands, and then reward ourselves with something tasty. I mean, it's funny how something as simple as running errands can turn into a day you actually look forward to. Traditions like this make everyday life more enjoyable and it's a great way to stay connected. We could even explore different parts of the city while we're at it. There's always something new to discover when you're out and about. Well, that's it for today's conversation. Thanks for sharing your thoughts, Mason. It's always fun to chat about the little things that make life better. Thanks, Ethan. It was great talking about how even the most ordinary tasks can become enjoyable when you're with someone else. And to everyone watching, we hope you enjoyed this conversation. If you've got any stories about running errands with a friend or family member, we'd love to hear them. Drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care and happy errand running.